guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I've done a video and I actually promised to do this video a long time ago. I am gonna tell you briefly, I did a video on where I've been and what I've been up to and it was really hard for me to do because I've been dealing with depression. Um, and I did this video and I edited it. I could not get it to upload for the life of me. First it was my editing software, then it was YouTube. Ultimately, I decided the video was not meant to be put out. So, I'm just going to tell you, I'm sorry that I've been away so long. Um, I have some medical issues I'm dealing with, and I had a really bad um, bout of depression. Um, I'm not embarrassed to say that, but if you've ever experienced depression, you know it can be debilitating, and quite frankly, it was. So, that is where I've been. I'm feeling better. Thank God. Therapy, medication, food, it, all of it, it plays together and thank God I'm feeling better. On to the video. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be making faux handmade paper. And the reason I'm calling it faux handmade paper, obviously, because I'm using paper. But we're going to make it look really rustic and really textured and really different. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with, I'll show you what we're using. This is nothing more than tea leaves. I cut open three packets of tea and there you go, crushed tea leaves. I've got some of this, oh, didn't mean to put that in there. I've got some of this eyelash trim and I use the little fibers right here. I'll show you how I use that. Next, we've got Mod Podge. You're more than welcome to make your own. I believe that if you use PVA glue and water and some magic ratio, it could be homemade Mod Podge. I've got a non-sticky pad from Band-Aid here, and it's just gonna be used for texture. So I tore it apart. This is the outside layer. It's like a um, silky feeling. And then the cotton, maybe we'll use that for some texture. I saved my tea bags and my little things. If I don't use them in this project, I'll use them in junk journals. And then I've got some mesh. Um, this, I didn't have any pink mesh, but this is like a mesh material. So I'm gonna use that. And then I've got some purple. Ooh, glow in the dark, I didn't even know that. Glitter Tully. So all of this stuff came from the Dollar Tree except for these. These were a um, pack of glitters. These actually did come from the Dollar Tree. These came in a pack of clearance glitter. There's some chunky glitter and there's some really fine glitter. So we're gonna use a mixture of that. Um, I've never really seen anybody use this or do this faux paper in a colorful way the way that I'm going to, but that doesn't mean nobody's done it. It just means I haven't seen it. Um, I am going to list the YouTube video below that I first saw this being done, um, and she did an amazing job. She did more of like an organic, I am going to do one of those, like an organic, brownish, um, really vintage-y. Um, and then the others, I'm going to make some pretty paper too. So let's move on. To, oh, and I'm sorry. You're supposed to use one ply of a napkin. I don't have a napkin handy, so I'm going to use tissue paper. I used it before and it didn't seem to be a problem, so let's see what we can do with it this time. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here, I'm going to do them one at a time because I really enjoy doing them. So we're going to, let's push everything up front here. So the first thing you're going to do, I cut my papers down to 8.5 by 11 because I'm gonna start selling these in my Etsy shop. I think they're really unique and I think that they would be great for junk journal pages. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start selling them in my Etsy shop and that's what I want them to be is eight and a half, 11 by 11 because it's easier to ship. Okay, Mod Podge. We've got matte here, which I like that idea because I don't want it to be really shiny. I just want it to be a layer of Mod Podge. All right brush and I'm just using this right here but I got to put down something it won't stick to. So I'm going to 
going to use some wax paper. This is the real waxy side. What'd you say? Oh, is he licking your feet? No, he won't leave me alone. He wants attention. I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> he doesn't care about that. That's not his concern. This is it. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. Which one do you guys want to do first? Hannah, what color should I do first? Purple. Okay, I was going to give her the options, but she already knows. All right, we're doing purple first. Purple's my favorite color. Mine too. All right, what did I just do with that brush? All right, here we go. Nice thin layer of Mod Podge, but still, what in the heck? What is it, clogged? It's clogged, so we're going to open it up. I don't really know why I did that. All right. Go ahead and get a thin layer on here. It does not have to be thick. Woo! As I said that, I dumped a whole bottle. Okay. So for this base page that you're doing, I would prefer, or I think I would prefer, like what is, the heck? Nobody cares about my preference. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it would be better <laughs> to use a thinner paper like this is wrapping paper. It's a wrapping paper like feel. Um, I think if you use like a thicker paper, it might not work out too well because I'm afraid that it won't, um, you know, be like thin and mushy like regular paper is. Am I making any sense? Probably not. It'll probably be fine with computer paper. Maybe we'll test it. We should do that. See, I don't really, um, Plan anything with these videos. I always tell people I'm not a professional YouTuber because I'm not. I don't like, I see these YouTubers that have like the perfect lighting and like they go to extremes and I'm just over here with my iPad and computer and phone being like, hey, watch my videos. <laughs> okay, so now I'm, I need to get stuff on it before I get it, before it gets dry. Okay. So first, I'd like to go in with, um, stop. can you stop arguing with the dog? He wants to hug me. Okay, first I want to go in with some of this tea. Now, I did have another um, thing of tea over there, and it's actually hibiscus tea, so when you drop it in to the Mod Podge, it looks pink, so that's pretty cool. Um, this is just regular tea though. Actually it's mint tea. Maybe it'll smell good. But you know how um, like handmade paper has the textures in it? That's kind of what we're going for here with this. You can also use like bay leaves crushed up. Any kind of like herb crushed up. And okay. Alright so next thing we're going to do is add some texture. So I've never used cotton before. Let's see. I don't want to have like thick pieces of anything on here because I really need the, um, the two pages to stick together. So I'm just laying really like thin, tiny pieces of cotton down. I think it'll give it like a, a cottony look. You know, like the texture of Oh, yes. Cotton will give it a cotton look, Mom. Handmade paper. She's so sassy. Now I'm going to use the outside of the cotton um, band-aid thing, and I'm just going to cut maybe a strip. Oh, it's got a really cool texture to it. I wonder if I rip it. I like the organic look better. Oh, yeah. Okay, it rips pretty nice. And you kind of want to push it into the glue. Don't let it dry without being pushed into the glue. Sorry, I just You're fine. I don't care. That's why I say I'm not a professional because I don't make my kids shut up and 
they're running around and doing whatever they do. The only reason I asked Selena to turn off the radio is because I don't want to get copyrighted. She's doing my makeup, okay. She's doing her makeup over there. I don't like the way that's laying. We're not using that. Literally, I just don't like the way it lays down. That's one thing with ripping it, I guess, is the edges curl, so maybe let's not rip it. That's what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Okay, and we're doing purple? Okay, well, let's open some of this Tully. Tully. Um, you know, like fishnet. Fishnet. That's why I was looking for the word. All right. This is going to give, oh, it's going to give glitter and a nice texture. Awesome. This I'm going to rip, though. Oh, that's so cute. I like it. I like it. So, um, you can really use anything on here that gives texture or adds some color. So here's what we're going to do next. We're going to add some glitter. Got purple. Got dark purple and light purple. Um, I suggest you use a tiny itsy bitsy amount in your hand because otherwise if you try to shake it out of a glitter thing, just trust me, it's going to be too much. All right, so this glitter is going to be held up high and sprinkled very lightly over it. That way, when you look at the piece of paper, you are getting the tiniest shimmer of glitter, and it's not just a big, like, glitter bomb. Because I think this paper is very um, delicate looking. It's not delicate because, obviously, we are um, putting it together with tea. It's not delicate. It looks delicate though. So that was some dark. Now I'm going to go in with some light. Where's the mode? There it is. Some light lavender purple. And I'll probably do a little bit heavy handed with the light because it's a light color. There we go. That is so pretty. That is adorable. But you're still going to have to go in with a light hand. I'm just barely touching my finger in it and sprinkling it on. I mean, I guess if you wanted really glittery paper, you could go in with a heavy hand. But that's not my intention. My intention is to make it look rustic and just have a shimmer about it. Oh, you know what I forgot to show you in the beginning? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot to show you this. Look, there it went. It's fine. Um, I forgot to show you my homemade alcohols that I'm going to be using. And I will link that video below also for you guys. Um, I made homemade alcohol sprays with permanent uh, marker and alcohol from the Dollar Tree. And here are my beautiful colors that I've been using for the last couple years. They're all here, and um, I will link that video below for you. So if you wanted to do this with some homemade alcohol sprays, you could. All right, so we are going to go in with this. We are going to spray however much you want on here. If you want to go in and saturate it, do so. I'm just giving little hints. What do you spray? Like purple my alcohol ink without being too um, heavy handed with it. Maybe do a maybe do a corner that's got a little heavier on it. Metal that's a little heavy. Alright, I'm happy with that. Um that I believe is all that you put down. And we are actually going to let this dry for a little bit. Um, if I didn't go in with the alcohol inks, 
I would lay the top on it with some Mod Podge immediately. But since I did go in with the alcohol inks, I want it to dry a little bit. So I'm going to put this aside to dry, and I'm going to prepare my other ones. And then we'll start over from the beginning and start putting the top layer on. So I'm going to put this aside to dry, and I will continue with the rest. Enough already, buddy. Yelling at him's not gonna help. No, but... Try to soothe them. Okay, so I got all of them done. Sorry, they're not all down here. I've got them drying, but you can see me. I'll cover all of them with you. All right. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take white. Uh tissue paper. Like I said, the other ladies have used napkins, one ply of the napkin. Like you tear the napkin apart and you do it that way. But I literally have no napkins. So we are going to make do with tissue paper. So what I'm going to do is lay it flat and then I'm just going to go over the tissue paper with some Mod Podge and it will bind them together. So here we go. This is going to soak through. It should soak through. Yes, there we go. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to be very careful that you're going over each area, but that you're not ripping the tissue paper. But if you rip the tissue paper I got you, because I guarantee I'm going to do it too. I'll show you how to fix it if you rip it. It's really easy. You just paste and cut. Really, you just um, take a sheet of, rip a sheet of the tissue paper and place it over where you accidentally ripped it. I'm trying to get all these bubbles out too. I mean, actually, you don't want to get all the bubbles out. You want texture, right? So let's not get all the bubbles out, but we need to make sure that this adheres. So that's why I'm going over it several times because it's got to lay flat on there to, um, So again, I'm just going over this to make sure that every little bit of it is sealed together because this is like the top coat, per se, of this paper. And so you need to make sure that it sticks together because everything that we put there is sandwiched in between. So this is like the other half of the of the paper. All right, I like the way that that's adhered down. There's still bubbles, which again, if you want to work the bubbles out, work them out, but I'm not bothered because it just gives them more texture. We're going to take this whole piece of wax paper and set it aside for this to dry.
Here's my vintage one that I'm doing. What? That's fine. He'll probably follow you wherever you go, FYI. Okay, so here I tore off a little bit too much so I can just adjust it. Actually, no, I can't. It adhered down already. So I am going to have to fix that. So the way that you fix that, it's really complicated. Watch. Did you see that? Did you get it? And we're doing the same thing. Pushing all of this Mod Podge right into the top layer. Oh, yeah, that's wax paper. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't put it on wax paper. Yes, I did. That would have been a disaster if I didn't put it on wax paper because it would have stuck to the other paper. Sure you're pushing this glue all the way to the edge. Now I assume that the tissue paper is easier because it's thicker. Um, but again, like I said, I've never done it the way you're supposed to do it. So with this piece right here, I'm just going to dab it in so it joins together. There we go. So it doesn't matter that there's like a mark here. First of all, you're not going to be able to see it. And second of all, um, texture. Texture, texture, texture. because I got to do your binder and then I got to get it up to oh I think I did did I rip it no I didn't I thought I did Tuesday oh I did rip it right there if you missed the first time I fixed it here's the second time ready I don't even know where I ripped oh right there boom see done fixed I ripped off a piece of paper and just flung it right over top I am. See, I, I said it was magic, and it was. I think I'm a magician. It's magic. Oh, I think I ripped right there, too. I did rip right there. Ah! I crinkled it. I mean, you could crinkle it, I guess, if you wanted, but... All right, let's put this one aside and grab the next one. This is the vintage one. This is the pink one. So we're going to cover it up. I already put it down. I should be a little bit more careful when I put it down that it's going to fit. It's not fitting, but we'll cover up this side again like we did last time. And it looks like I'm going to use this whole bottle of Mod Podge on this project, and then some probably. So, I guess, I mean, I wouldn't call it an expensive project. You're literally using a tiny bit of everything. Um, this is, yeah, this is not an expensive project. No way. I consider expensive projects like projects that you need machines for, like, um, I looked at a book binding video the other day and, like, they needed the whole cinch press and everything. 
And I was like, get out of here. Why are there flies? I have fruit flies. Where do those come from? Where are I thought those were gone for the season. Guess not. Um, anyway, so I consider those to be expensive projects. Something like this is not an expensive project. It's not sticking very well, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, it stuck very well. So we're just working it on here. I want to make sure it gets nice and saturated, all the corners, all the edges. We do not want these peeling apart. It is peeling apart too, I don't know why. Usually when you put the Mod Podge on the top, it adheres it down nice, but for some reason I'm getting some resistance. Maybe, you know? You know what I did? I think I laid the glossy side of the paper down. Let's see if this still works. I did. See, there's a regular side and a glossy side to this tissue paper, and I accidentally laid the glossy side down. Who's whining over there? Hannah? What? Who's whining over there? And then I saved the best for last, because I think this is my favorite one. Oh, isn't it pretty? I love it. Tango, stop. And this one. Buddy, enough already. Stop. Let him outside, please. He's never going to come back in, but just let him out. What? Let him outside, please. You really would, don't have to do this. I'm just being cheap. <laughs> I'm just being cheap. I'm not going out there with you. No. No, what do you think I was going to do? You're going to save me. You're going to save me from the big bad wolf. <laughs> Pretty much. overlapped that. That probably wasn't a great idea because now it's not shining. The paper itself is not coming through. Probably wasn't my greatest idea. But we're going to go with it because I already did it. Hopefully I'm in focus okay and you can see everything. So, <clears throat> this is the blue one and it is all dried and it's still the same way it was when I left it, okay? These I've already cut out, but I'm gonna show you how I cut it out with the blue one. So this is what these look like. This is our pink one. It turned out super cute. It's got the pink ribbon in it. It's got the pink large pieces of glitter. It's got the little pieces of glitter scattered throughout. And then you can see the texture from the dried tea leaves in there. So that's what that one looks like. And then 
Here is the purple one. This is actually my favorite one out of all of these. So that's how the purple one turned out. I think maybe because I sprayed more um, purple and then it's got the texture from the um, Tully and then the dried tooth leaves again. It's so pretty. And then here's the vintage one that I did. I just use yellow for this. And you can see there's some string in there that I put in there. And then, um, of course, the yellow. And more string. And I didn't put any glitter in this one because it's a vintage one. So I didn't want it to be sparkly. I wanted it to be kind of distressed and old looking. And I think it looks old. So. And by the way, this paper See, right here, it did not stick. That's the one thing about the tissue paper is that it does have a hard time penetrating some um, areas because one of the sides is glossy. But for the most part, it, it's pretty good. Those are here. Those are adhered down. Anyway, what I was going to say is it's not like paper. It's almost like um, material. Look. See? It's almost like material. I mean, you could fold it like paper, but see what I'm saying? It's not like crunchy. It's got a flexibility to it. It feels really cool, too. <laughs> anyway, so that's that one. Alright, this is how I cut the, um, cut them off of there. So here's the blue one, okay? It's dried. What we're going to do is we're going to separate the paper and the wax paper and then we're just going to slide our hand underneath and you're going to have to slide it out. See what I'm doing? I'm pushing out because if you rip it, you don't want to rip towards you. You want to rip away from you. Same thing on every side. Push it out. Kind of work it with your hand just to get it unstuck because this paper is glued on the, around the edges with the Mod Podge. It's glued to the to the wax paper. So you just want to be real gentle with it. Just rip it off there like that, and any remaining um, paper we're going to cut off. So don't worry about it. So we're just separating the paper from the wax paper. See, like that. Okay. So now we're left with this, and all we're going to do is flip it over, and you can see nicely where the paper is, and we're just going to cut out our paper. Keep it close to the edge of the paper because you don't want extra um, tissue paper hanging off the side. It won't look cohesive if you leave it like that. There you go. Now you have a nice straight edge there. And we're just going to do that for all sides. So this is our blue one, and it came out really pretty too. You can see the sparkles in it and all the different textures. Now if you notice that the on the edges, see this one is, see it's got a little bit of a, a gap right there. We're just going to add some Mod Podge in, and usually if you get to the edge you don't have this problem, but every once in a while, like I said, with this tissue paper. It just doesn't adhere down right and you have to go back in but it's not a big deal 
because it literally fixes just like that. So let me make sure there's no other areas that I need to glue together. I do have an area over here. Okay, so what I want to say is it probably has these bubbles and separated a little bit on the edges because I think the last time I did it, I didn't wait for it to, the alcoholing to dry. I just laid it right over top. So I don't know why I did that. So let's, let's not say that. So after you spray the alcohol ink on, immediately put the top on. Don't let the alcohol ink dry because that's what happened. Yep. Okay, so as soon as you spray it, leave the alcohol ink on there wet and then put the cover on immediately. Don't wait for the alcohol ink to dry. So I had fun making these and there's so many different things you can do with them. I'm thinking of maybe turning one of these into a journal. That would be a pretty journal, wouldn't it? Pretty junk journal or a traveler's notebook. Um, you can cut these down and back them with cardboard and use them as, um, you know, four by six cards or two by three cards for journals. Um, so many things you could do with this. So I'm just going to end the video here. I had a lot of fun making these. I encourage you to um, experiment if you want to use the tissue paper like I did or you want to use the... Um, one ply of napkin like in the other videos that I've seen. I just think that it's really fun and you can find all different things to put under here for texture. I just grabbed this, you know, this big band-aid and started tearing it apart because I bought gauze at the Dollar Tree and I have no idea where it went. That was my reason for using that. But again, um, gauze, tea leaves, herbs, um, like I said, alcohol sprays you can, or alcohol inks you can also use maybe I don't know, if you want to put a design on here, draw a design and then put all this stuff over it. That might be pretty too. Maybe I'll experiment with that too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next video. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber to Chaotic Mom. Um, haven't been real good about posting regularly, but I have over 300 videos that you are more than welcome to go and watch through. And... I'm just going to try my best to keep posting regularly. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.